Wait, so you're saying they can hear me? They can hear you now. So we're not giving a countdown. Sucker, um, I, I got you. <laughs> okay, I'm ready, Tom. All right, here's the countdown. Five, four, three. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Atomic Mass Transmissions Live. Today, we're painting up the Razor Crest. Can they see you since you're so close to me? I mean, kind of. Yeah, I look, right there's now. Tony. Tony Konchak running the board. And we also got a new person learning the board, Summer, who you will learn over the next year. Get to get to know more of. But today we're painting Razor Crest, no big deal. Uh, just the greatest Star Wars ship of all time, in my personal opinion. Um, I'm doing something fun. I'm doing my own personal scheme for my own personal X-Wing squad that I'm building up um, as I prepare to learn um, X-Wing and all of its fun nuances and challenges. Uh, so I'm painting up my squad, getting ready for that. Um, I uh, got my little test scheme, which I will go over, and then we'll get paint on this Razor Crest, and I'm tired of talking, so let's kick it to the mini cam. That's how we do it around here. Boop. So there's my personal scheme. As you can see, I'm doing scum. I got a glove on, so my hand looks like it really needs some lotion or something. Um, this is my personal scheme. I got, uh, I'm going to do scum and villainy. Um, I went with like this cool gray against a warm brown. Um, I got some blue engine glows. I love this little window here, and I decided to make that blue glowy because it's my X-Wing, and I can do what I want. Um, and I got the blue engine glow, which I'll be doing on our Razor Crest as well. Um, obviously, I got some uh, tape. I taped off to get some nice straight lines. Um, I did this beforehand because doing this is very tedious and not very exciting. Um, but maybe sometime we'll do a stream and we'll go over it. But this is just um, some hobby tape. You can get it for RC cars or any of your like um, well-stocked hobby stores. And I just taped it off. And if I need to clean up the line, I can clean up the line. And the reason I got this on is because I'm gonna dry off a brush with my gray. Got my gray sections picked out, and I'm gonna dab. I'm gonna go straight in, and this will give me a nice straight line later when I pull that tape off. Because this is gonna go right. If I brush back and forth, it might lift the tape a little bit, get under the lip, and it'll muck with my line, which is not fun. So I'm just gonna stab, 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 and start establishing some colors. And then we'll go over the process as we go. So, see, now I got like two people in here. I'm usually in here by myself, and I feel like so on the spot. Like, what am I supposed to say? Am I supposed to talk to you? Am I supposed to talk to myself? I'm so used to talking to myself. So, chat, talk to me. Are you ready for the holidays? Are you ready? Are you going to take some time off? Are you going to be doing some painting? I know I got. I have loaded my desk up for the holiday break. Um, Welcome to the last, speaking of which, welcome to the last Star Wars stream of the year, painting stream of the year. We got a stream tomorrow. Um, I got a ton of stuff on my desk to paint for the holiday. Tony, do you? I'm going to just always, drag Tony always in. tons of stuff to be working on. There's always more to paint. Summer's going to learn how to paint over the holidays. So you're here, part of family, just immediate with me. Like, there's no... I bet Stream has a bunch of stuff they're preparing to paint and getting excited for tomorrow's game stream because I believe tomorrow they are playing some X-Wing. Shick and Plum, I believe. Shick and Plum? Yeah, watch your camera. Am I not on camera? I'm the worst. This is why I have a gimbal. So my... My... Color scheme is cattywampus and just kind of asymmetrical. I'm not a big fan of symmetry. Um, doesn't really exist in the universe, so I like I like breaking it up. So I got this. This panel's gray, and then this whole engine's going to be gray. So I can get crazy with the cheese whiz on this side and just get in there and just slop some paint on that. What's chat say? Anything fun? Not painting, enjoying pre-painted minis. X-Wings, yeah. Tony play. Uh, I don't have a fixed faction. Like, just, you know, tons of MCP stuff. I play with my kids, so it's kind of, you know, 
whatever they let me play with since they tend to take all the good stuff. If you could pick one Star Wars X-Wing to start, what would you do? Rebels? I feel like you're Rebels. No, Empire. Empire. Yeah. That makes more sense, actually. I gotta do Scum and Villainy. I just love the ships. The Houndstooth. I'm excited to paint up the Houndstooth. I got... I went ahead and uh, placed an order for one. So I'm going to paint up a Houndstooth and a Boba Fett's Starship. I'm going to paint that up. And then I was looking at Fang Fighters. I might have been talking to developers. They might have been telling me what I needed to add to increase my point variance and being able to build different things, different builds and stuff like that. <laughs> raffle off the paint stuff. This is mine. I needed to play a game. I can't raffle this. I got to play fully painted. I can't even start until I'm painted. Like, I won't even... I got I to paint first. I got to get my army... Squad, force, faction, whatever your preferred nomenclature is, paint it up, and then I'll play a game. I only do demos with unpainted, or with painted as well. I don't know why I said unpainted. All right, this feels really close to being able to pull off my tape. Then I can clean up my lines and make it feel Nope. And they're leaving. That's it. They're out. They're out. Now I'm by myself. Chick. I just I just never get to like disturb you when you're when you're streaming. I feel like you always interrupt me, so I wanted to take my one off. That's because that's because I'm here on the days. I know, I'm never I'm never here when you stream. You're never here when I stream. It looks Look, lovely, Dallas. See my razor crest? Yeah, no, it looks great. Did you did you bring you did bring your your little test ship? Yep, I got my little test ship yeah. so they can the see kind of where it's going. Uh -huh. What is this called again? I just I don't remember what this one's called. M three A interceptor. I told him I was going to paint a hound's tooth and some fang fighters. You got to get the Natasha pup done too, then. Mm -hmm. So you can pop out of the hound's tooth. Yeah, I got to get all that done. All well, I placed an order. I like it. Hopefully, it shows up before the holiday break so I can add it to my giant collection of stuff I need to paint. Over the two weeks? Over my two weeks. I have so many fangs. I have I, so many fang fighters to paint. Oh, you're doing fang fighters too? You have to. That's what. You can do them in like. like they're rebel fang fighters now. It's amazing. That's what that's what the devs were telling me to pick up as well. I know. Have fun. Bye, Shik. Uh, Empire. Hard date for X-wing official updates. I don't have the hard dates for official X-wing updates. Um, yeah, there you go. Atomic Mass Games is getting in there. They're working on it. And they're, you know, it's kind of fun, right? They're working on stuff and they're giving a peek on the inside, right? So it could just not have a peek on the inside and we could just release it when it's done. But, you know, we, li we like to let, we like to get in on the, on the inside of it. And so that means you got to wait a little longer with information that you might know. Um, and I, I think that's more fun, personally. It's more fun for me. I think it's more fun for the devs too. My little piece of tape came off, so I'm gonna to try to get that back on there. Give me my straight line. Dab, dab, dab. Try to create that nice line. Oh, Josh Colone. What is up, Josh? Ask Dallas to accidentally name the second. What am I naming? I don't know what I'm naming.
I'm painting, so sometimes it's hard to catch, keep track of the conversation stream is doing because they go so fast. They're talking so fast. Then this goes around. Am I still on stream? Screen? I think I'm going to leave this engine. I'm going to get in there just a little bit right next to the engine. This little piece of tape. And then this should probably go around. So what we'll do is I'm just kind of sort of make an executive decision and guess. So I'm going to do the whole underside of the wing. And right up to the body. In this section. And then I'm going to paint in a hard line with my just free in a free hand in a hard line. Because it doesn't need to be super precise on the bottom. And some just fell off the table. It's exciting. And just keep working around. All right, let's pull this tape off. All those little pieces of tape. I should have grabbed my tweezers for this. I really should have grabbed tweezers. Let's see if I can use a paintbrush. Don't worry, chat. It's an old. It's an old paintbrush. Tony was here, I'd make him go grab my tweezers because it'd make this way easier. There we go. Now, I'm going to use a, just a brush with my hand. Name the pilots for the Razor Crest. I don't know the pilots, not by heart. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What we got here? Uh, the minis are the the X Wing miniatures are still painted. Um, I'm just repainting this because I want to personalize it and make it my own. You know, you can leave them the pre-painted colors if you so choose. But you also have the option to paint your own. Plus, doing paint streams is a nice way to spend time and hang out, answer questions with chat and the community, which, you know, we feel is super important and part of the hobby. You know, miniature games is, you know, it's a community. And... Um, we consider ourselves part of the community just as much as anyone else. So one of my favorite things long before I joined uh, the industry was hosting paint nights at my local game store and to get together. And a bunch of us would get together and paint 
uh, one night a week, and we all play in different, you know, different games from different lines, and you know, sometimes people just hung out and just chatted, and that was because you spend so much time in miniature games painting. Like sometimes it's nice to have a group to hang out with and you know paint with. So it's kind of our philosophy here, right? You you got to get them painted so you might as well hang out. You know, maybe if you're catching this later, yeah, you're not getting the live experience, but so you're not getting to answer the questions, but like maybe I'm going to cover a cool trick that you didn't know. So it's always hopefully useful and fun. Yeah, that's going to look cool. This needs to be Finish the stripe over here, so it has that nice line all the way through. <laughs> Is there a detachable part? There's no detachable part on this ship. Bum, bum. Oh, the painting scheme looks nice. Thank you very much. I was, like I said, I did a test scheme here. And I really enjoyed it, so I thought it was going to look really cool on the Razor Crest. I need a bigger brush. I switched to a bigger brush. Thought it looked cool on this Razor Crest. Like I said, I'm going to apply it to my entire scum uh, collection as I get my scum collection in. Placed an order for um, some ships, the Hound's Tooth. Um, Boba Fett Starship. Um, I think I'm going to get some Fang Fighters. I like big ships. So I'm going to probably play with a bunch of those. And then I got some small ships to fill out my points and to create some diversity. So I'm going to paint the cockpit this light, warm, gray color. And I'm just slopping some paint on there. Never try to do it in one coat. What primer... What primer did I use? I just used some airbrush primer, and then this is just some uh, this is just some nice terracotta colored paint that I had laying around. So thought it looked very good, scum, scum and villainy, scum colored bounty hunters. I need to come up with a name. I gotta have a name. Um, if you've been following us for a little bit, I painted up some clones, the Lucky Thirteens. Um, because I like to name my stuff. I like having like a little story. Um, to me, that's like some of the interesting part of miniature games and miniature hobby games in particular. Um, you know, you get to hobby and kind of put yourself in the world. You get to personalize stuff. You know, you don't have to, obviously. Um, but that's the part that drew me in was being able to tell a story in the world. Um, so I, I had the Lucky 13s for my Star Wars Legion, and I almost did Lucky 13s for X-Wing. And I kind of had like a little story I kind of started in my head about how that would work using nothing but bounty hunter ships. Um, but I decided to go with something different. Didn't want it to become too predictable. So I decided to come up with something different. So this is kind of the scheme I landed on. But now I need like a captain... And like, who who brought this collection of bounty hunters and outlaws from across the the galaxy? Who brought them all together under one banner? Um, and then what is the name of them? I thought about doing something. Uh, uh, we were looking at skulls uh, to for symbology to because I need to add some symbology. I want to put some freehand 
symbol somewhere on the ships. We were looking at uh, Mylox. So I thought my I thought Mylox might be kind of cool to like play on, you know. The Mylock Marauders or uh, you know something like that might be kind of cool. I feel like that line is really thick. I should maybe trim that down a little bit. I don't know. It's real messy right now. It's real messy right now. Uh, The scenario play for X-Wing, yeah, I think that's tomorrow. I think they're going to go over that tomorrow, I believe. I think we're going to do something fun with this. Drop this back at an angle. The Mad Banthas. Oh, I like Mad Banthas. Yeah, the brown... Uh, Jared Sowers, the brown seems like a good hut cartel. Yeah. Uh, if you get measured, the, well, Tomorrow's your day, then. We're going to be pay playing some X-Wing tomorrow. And you can talk directly to the devs and ask them questions. So tomorrow's the day for you. Let's drag this back. I think this will create a nice line. Yeah, that's going to be cool. There's a lot of different aspects to miniature games so we like to cover kind of all the aspects and you know invite everybody to participate in the different ways that you know they want to engage so try to be diverse and um, in our content and what we like to present and every Wednesday is our Star Wars paint day Today I'm painting up some X-Wings because I got them on my list and I'm knocking them out. Make some executive decisions on the bottom of the ship here. And if it's rough at this stage, I can always go back and clean it up. No big deal. Let's go on the bottom of that panel. On the bottom of that panel. It's a little clunky, but that'll be cleaned up later. Uh, Minox, sorry. Minox, I said Mylox. I don't know why I said Mylox. Uh, if you did Rancor, it could be the Rancor Raiders. Ooh, I like Rancor Raiders. What does a Rancor skull look like? I need to find a Rancor skull. Do I have a recommendation for the TIE Fighter? I don't have a, a, a paint, uh, like a name, like immediately picked out. Um, so I'd have to do some playing. It's probably a mix, because I really doubt that that paint just straight up exists in any paint line. It's it's a very unique blue-gray color. Um, Dallas, it's your last stream for 2022. What's been your favorite thing from this year? Uh, spending time with y'all. It's always my favorite part of the year. Um, and getting to work on really cool stuff and really um, getting excited for next year and what next year is going to bring um, for all of our games. Um, there's some really fun announcements coming and some really cool sculpts and some rules I think everybody's going to be excited for. Rancors, are, yeah, I, I think, I think, uh, I think Rancors are... I think rankers are really gonna be awesome. JBF and Court, I'm not a painter and I enjoy these. Hey, thanks. You know, thanks. What is it about you, Joy? You know, if there's something you enjoy about it, let me know. Um, 
Sometimes it's fun to just chill and hang out. Do fun stuff. Yeah, I think I want to make this stripes thinner now that I'm looking at it. Um, I, I taped it on wide because I thought with a bigger ship it would look better by kind of blowing that center line up. You can see it's really line, really slim on this one, on the test. So I think I think blowing it up was, I think I blew it up too big. Not painting X wings, you're painting. Right. I mean, it's from the game X wings. So I'm painting X wings. Um, I'm full of lies. Ouch. I have a hard time lying. I have a hard time lying. So I know I'm getting it on the windshields. Don't care. I don't even know if they're actually called windshields. Are they called windshields in space? I'm an artist. I'm not pedantic. I'm, I just call things what they what I think they are and get them sculpted and painted. Words are just made up, anyways. All words are made up. Ba 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 ba. When do you get Ewoks for Legion? Soon. We're, we're working on them. We're working on them. I've seen sculpts. I'll tell you that much. Get that line nice and straight. Yeah, I think you're going to really enjoy what's up our sleeves for Ewoks. Viewports, thank you, Team Mech Killers. I think you're right. Solar, solar windshields, I like solar windshields. Trans, Transparisteel canopy. Like I said, I'm, I'm not very pedantic. Words are all made up nonsense. They're just super eloquent grunts. And eloquent is the most eloquent of the grunt. Yeah, I want to emphasize this sick angle here. Sometimes I sometimes I paint over the panel lines and sometimes I look at the panel lines and kind of accentuate them. So like that's what I mean when I say make an executive decision. I'm just sort of deciding where a line will go if it's not abundantly clear where it should be. Or if I don't have one taped off, I just kind of make it up. I feel like viewport is the right word, though. Since I'm not in the symmetry, I'm not going to do under the door on this side. What's been my favorite donut this year? Oh, I'm going to say the one I had on vacation. Uh, my partner and I went on vacation and I found a place nearby that did um, fresh micro little tiny donuts and they were amazing. 
probably because I was on vacation. And everybody knows vacation food always tastes better than non-vacation food, right? Or is that just me? It's like I was asked today what my favorite movie was. And I'm like, well, it depends on my mood. I just don't have a favorite movie. My mood. If I'm feeling melancholy, my mood is definitely different. Or my, my favorite movie is definitely different when I'm melancholy than when I'm, you know, feeling funny. Or like I want to be spooked. All right. I'm just coming in with my brown, tidying up any line that looks a little off. My own screen kind of. Can you prime without an airbrush? You can, you can buy spray primers. Um, a lot of times I just buy uh, some auto primer The only thing you have to watch out for is humidity. If you're using a spray primer, um, that's why I go with airbrush primer because I don't have to deal with humidity. Um, I can just prime whenever. But there's definitely many, many primers. Tidy up them lines, gotta make the line so tidy. When you make the line tidy, it looks so good inside your spaceship. This brush is rough, kids. This brush is rough. I need to get Shook to buy me some new brushes. That's what I want for the holiday, Shook. Buy me some new brushes, my dude. That's the bottom of the ship, so I don't know why I'm carrying so much. No one's going to see it. It's going to be on a peg. <laughs> All right, let's water that down. Micro vacation done, of course. Yeah. Um. True, Shik, you did buy me a ton of brushes. I need some size ones, my dude. Let's water that down even more. Just gonna put a, kind of a spot wash over the browns. Get in those crevices. Sort of dinges it up a bit too. Because 
Because if there's one thing about Star Wars, it's a dirty universe. I like that mucky, lived-in feel. Sorry, I'm distracted. I'm thinking, I'm painting. I'm really getting in there. This whole engine turbine, just throw a wash on that. Some of this we'll go back and we'll do is metal. Probably throw a little dry brush on this as well. Just to pop pop some highlights out. Yeah, I need size ones. It's chunky size three. I'm beating the heck out of it. I'm beating the heck out of it, sir. Oh, it was a lot of brushes first time, caller. It was a lot of brushes. Team Mech. Yeah, Naboo keeps it all chrome and clean. Bulgar, what's your process for determining the official studio paint job for each mini? Uh, references. We look at a lot of references. Um, working with IPs, there's a lot of references to go over, so you just kind of look at those, and you compile references, and you talk to a painter, and discuss like what, what is needed and what's going to look good. But I'm definitely a big believer in references for any art project. Um, even something that doesn't exist, right? Like if you're painting something that doesn't exist, you try to find a real, uh, you know, real world um, reference, something that's close to kind of guide the color, the tone, the, um, you know, textures or the way light works on stuff. A lot of reference. Wookie sable brushes. Well, that's what we need. We need Wookie sable brushes. Uh, Blend in 101. Is it possible to do a wash over the original paint without primer? For X Wings, yeah, absolutely. You can paint directly over top of the, uh, the factory paint jobs. Um, a lot of times I like throwing down like a quick um, dough coat. Um, on the stream, we do this a lot. Um, we've done repaints on 
several ships um, over the past year. Um, and a lot of times we just do a, uh, we get some dull coat um, and we throw a little splash of that over top of the ship to kind of give the paint a grip, something to grip to. Do you have a miniature and a box to show? Um, I don't have one in front of me. It's in the other room. And so I don't actually have access to it. It's in the other room. We did that last week with the uh, with the gauntlet fighter. I'm probably going to add a gauntlet fighter to my list. I should probably add a gauntlet fighter to my list. Because that gauntlet is dope. Seriously cool. <sighs> Scared to mess a mini up. You gotta paint bravely. You gotta paint bravely. You're not really messing it up, you're learning. You know? To me, trying isn't failing. You know, if you learn a lesson, then you didn't fail. I've painted a lot of miniatures in my life. I've won awards. I've done studio. But I had to start somewhere. I had to get in there and I had to paint. I had to be unafraid. I had to ask questions and I had to get feedback. I had to learn to take feedback and what that meant. It's not as easy as you think. You gotta learn how to listen to words and what somebody's trying to tell you and then improve upon it, like take it into consideration and improve upon it. Um, so if you want to get good with something, you know, you got to start out kind of being bad at it. A wiser man said it better than that once. Um, but you just kind of got to get stuck in. You just got to put the brush to the miniature and sometimes you just got to mess it up. You know, you got to boff it. And you do that a couple times and you ask some questions, you figure out what you did wrong and you improve upon it. And then maybe a couple years from now you go back and you repaint that same miniature and you totally do a better job and then you have two miniatures of the same ones and you can like like rings on a tree, you can show your growth. You know, to me, it's all about the growth. It's all about... I always tell people, don't compare yourself... Don't compare yourself to other artists, right? Compare yourself to the last thing you painted. That's what really matters. We're all at different points on the same path. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you can paint over it. You can if you use thin paint, you can always just paint right over top of it. It's really hard to truly mess something else. How many gauntlet fit how many gauntlet fires will we be able to fit in a two hundred point list? Uh I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've 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 been painting a long time and I've got some real bad mess ups. I got some real bad mess ups. I always say painting miniatures is a fine art of correcting one's mistakes. All right, we need some, block in some engines. So I'm gonna block these in with black. Come back and do metal over top. So I do, I kinda wanna do this other ring, I think. Can 
I get more metal on that. A little heavier feel to it. Give it a little heavier feel. painted up. Mm -hmm. I have six first edition Z95s crying for a repaint. Yeah, do it. It's super fun personalizing your stuff. I love it. side just blocking that in And then this front and the back will be painted that bright blue glow. Let's get some more black. My favorite part of Star Wars ships is getting to slap on color mismatch replacement belt. Yeah! I like it. I like mismatch panels. Just adds to that like lived in feel of Star Wars, right? And the outer rim. You bump into an asteroid. You land on some backwater planet. They don't have the right parts. Just kind of modify it, slap it on there to get you to the next planet.
paint got a little out of control there. I'll clean that up. It's all about define and refine. We'll clean all that up. All right, what do we think here? Your pink lambda would annoy Palpatine. I think we've painted one pink ship at the request of uh, head of studio Simone for Simone's personal collection. Everything is gritty and lived in. Usually stuff isn't clean and pristine. Yeah, that's that's my favorite part about Star Wars. When you look at Star Wars, I like that that gritty, lived in feel of Star Wars. And I think that this this little squad is gonna feel really cool. I wanna get that gritty, lived in feel, right? And I still got some lines to straighten up, but overall I'm pretty happy where this is going. Um, these panels will be silvered. The guns will be silvered. Um, and I need to clean up some lines. I gotta paint the uh, canopies, and I gotta put my glowy bits in. So this this thing is coming along pretty good, pretty happy. Let's see if we can do a quick dry brush to pick out some details. On our browns. I don't want this to be too heavy handed. Just want to pick out. This is just an, a makeup brush. I'm just lightly touching the ship. When I'm dry brushing, I try not to go too heavy at first, right? I want just ever so slightly be able to tell it happened and then slowly build up. So I'm never in a rush, never in a rush. Are the rules being previewed? Uh, they're previewing some rules. I don't know if they're final. I'm not sure where that's at. Um, you know, these are stuff that we're working on. It's been kind of cool showing that inside look at the process. Hopefully you find it interesting. 
even though that means you kind of know about stuff a little bit sooner, it means you got to wait a little bit longer. Um, but I don't have the timelines on that or, or what's, what's final. That's, I'm sure they'll talk about it tomorrow. I don't want to speak for development. Uh, what paints? I'm currently using some scale seventy fives. I'm gonna go a little heavier. I'm gonna try to keep the brush moving backwards to kind of create that like bang up look like debris. We could also go back and paint streaks, which we'll probably do later. Do some damage and Torrens, tomorrow's your day. Tomorrow we're playing uh, X-Wing. And I'm sure the developers will be talking about all kinds of cool stuff. But today's paint day. Every Tuesday and Wednesday we usually do paint days. As there's so many different ways to enjoy the hobby and of miniature games we like to we like to make sure we explore all those aspects tomorrow definitely they are playing x-wing on stream live 1 p.m pacific standard time over here at twitch just like every tuesday wednesday thursday you can catch us live as i said tuesday and wednesdays are usually paint days thursdays are game day We play all kinds of games. We paint all kinds of games. Soon we'll have our new website. I'll tell you all the information that you want to know. Feeling pretty good about that. Yeah, tomorrow's stream. Yeah, I think we're going to go Rancor. Uh, I don't remember who suggested Rancor as a theme but heck yeah we're doing i think i think rancor is the is going to be the theme i need some rank rancor's raiders or rancor's revengers or something do i like dogs heck yeah i do tomorrow is the last stream of the year it's the last stream of the year and then we're all taking a, uh, it was a, we're all taking a little, little holiday break. Hopefully everybody else gets to take a little holiday break. Uh, but we're definitely taking a little holiday break. We've been busy sculpting and painting and developing and doing all kinds of stuff. And we are excited. We're ready for uh, 2022. 
we got so much to preview, so much to go over next year. Um, I don't even remember what all is in 2022 because I work so far in the future. Um, I know some things because I recently looked at the beginning of the year paint schedule for the streams and there's some really cool stuff that we're going to be showing off um, at the beginning of the year. Uh, but we've got plenty of stuff for all of our uh, games to announce and talk about. It's going to be a fun year. It's just going to keep getting better and better. As we spend more and more time developing all of our games and working and pushing as a studio on what we can do with a sculpt and what we can do with uh, the hard plastic. It's just you know, it's tons of exciting stuff. and I'm excited to have everybody on board and joining us for this little adventure that we're on. That's not going to dry in time for the blue glow. I got bad news. I got bad news. All right. So I think I'm about done. Well, I am done for today. So I've got my browns dry brush. I'm going to tighten the lines on my grays and throw some gray. Like if you look real closely, you can see some streaking. So I'm going to tighten my gray lines, do some streaking. I got to add metal, finish up the glows, do my canopies. Um, and then figure out what a Rancor skull looks like and maybe do Rancor skull freehand on the wings. Uh, clarify and define a true name for the start of my Scum Squad. Um, Scum Squad Squid 6, um, something like that. But I like, I like Rancors. Rancors are, I love Rancors. And did you know Night Sisters ride Rancors? I did not know that till recently. Um, which is super exciting. So I'm thinking about doing something with the name Rancor that was pitched about. Um, we talked about Minox and Rancors, and I don't know. I'm digging the Rancors. So and and the brown works really good. So last question is what we got? It's the last Star Wars paint stream of the year. What do we got going on here? I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it over to the other screen while I read the final questions of the paint streams. Remove that on my face because it's really, really bright. Um, so much awesome. Old, uh, Boba Fett. Boba Fett's definitely coming. Looks super awesome. I started painting him uh, a couple week ago, last week, week ago, something like that. Um, I definitely finished him up. You know, I think he looks really cool. Hopefully you'll see him real soon. Um, How has it been learning, painting, playing Legion, X-Wing, and Armada? Uh, what's your favorite three Star Wars games? Uh, I don't, I don't have favorites. I don't, I don't, I don't answer that kind of question. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I'm excited to learn X-wing. I'm painting up my X-wing right now because uh, I, I need a fully painted squad before I start really getting in there um, with the developers. Um, Legion's been a lot of fun, so it's been a lot of fun. At least I could. You, you'll be able to ask. You'll be able to ask about. The developers if you watch the x-wing streams where they play which we do quite often there's been a number of x-wing streams you can ask all about the ideas um ba -ba -ba. thank you thank you thank you space jawa why did we not think of jawas my my atlanta uh, maybe my maybe my maybe my bounty hair squad is all jawas um all right, so it doesn't look like there's much more uh, questions. And I know I got other stuff I got to go do, so we'll be back tomorrow. Team Jawa, everybody's just like, like, well, how did we not get to Jawas until the very end of the stream? Like, Jawas, I don't, I don't know. We need to think of a, we need to think of Rancor's Roughnecks. I like Rancor's Roughnecks. I got too many decisions to make. Okay, I got to go because I got meetings to attend to. So... <laughs> Catch us tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be playing X-Wing. We'll be showing off some uh, well, with Wilshick and Michael Plummer, uh, the developer and designer 
uh, here at Atomic Mass Games and check it out, ask some questions. And remember, the next two weeks we'll be off, but we'll be back in the new year with tons of stuff, tons of stuff, more stuff than you can do. Jawas, Jawas, I love it. All right, I got to go. I'm going to find my little screen over here. That's the one right there. And I'm going to click that, and I'm going to click this one. And then we're going to talk about Space Jawa Justice. I think it's a little too long. All right. See you next year.